as you probably saw from last video me fixing this thing, I, I goofed up Re really bad. I sprayed brake cleaner into the servo in part insides. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I did it, let, let, I'm just gonna say this. I did it before. I did it into the servo, the original servo. I mean, this is the original servo. I just did it into it when it first broke and it was fine. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it again. Apparently not. But we have this 25, no wait, 35. 35 kilogram, I don't know what this is. It's a waterproof servo. The D, it's the DS3235SG cordless digital servo. And it is waterproof. Yes, it does have a little water droplet. So I have that and an adapter, adapter for it. So that should work. You probably saw at the end of the video where I cut off. That didn't work. It just wouldn't steer, so it's it's stuck as it is. Uh, we did everything. We tried to see if we could make it come back to life without taking it apart again. Uh, switched the motor, the motor or the ESC and the servo lead. Swapped them. Uh, that didn't do anything. So servo has been fried. Oopsies. we need to take apart I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry fit that I do not think I'm almost positive that this will not fit on that servo so yeah I'm gonna pop that thing off real quick and uh, see if we can I don't know jerry rig something that's almost like this so it's like almost this length I'm sure I can figure out something <laughs> yeah no um, so I have this so I'm thinking we somehow use somehow somehow use this to act as that. But the holes okay so there is is that a I don't know. Alrighty, so I just recorded like five minutes of stuff and it's all gone. Or er, apparently I didn't actually record it, so who whoopsies common YouTubers mistake so this thing fits like a glove and uh, I don't know if um, I don't know the specs I, I mean obviously I know the specs of that one but I don't know the specs of that one so I don't know I don't know which one is stronger if it's this one or this one I'm assuming it's this one this one's 35 kilograms of torque I guess I don't know I've never I don't know anything about torque or anything I had to completely rip off this front shielding piece here. That was for that because this thing protrudes about a little bit more than uh, the stock plastic, so I had to bend that off. It's still on there though, it ain't going nowhere. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna set the front on there. I'm not gonna install it or anything. I'm not gonna put all the screws on. I'm just going to dry fit it and see what I have to do to get it mostly there and done. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I put two screws in there just to kind of hold it because it kept falling off. But it looks to me if I keep this straight up and down and put yeah, put that in there. She's uh she's straight. I mean she's going this way a little bit, but for the most part it's actually straight. So probably no modifications. Set the endpoints. I'm gonna tighten that up. 
plug some batteries in and uh, see what we got. Now, I don't know if when I start it, that the wheels are gonna move because it's gonna re recenter. I don't think it recenters itself. Uh, steering trim, multifunction knob. Okay, so. It needs to be recentered. Or I'm just an idiot and I put the steering horn on wrong. Now, it's centered. Just what I wanna see. A servo that actually does what it's supposed to do. may not be the fastest servo. I'm not really looking for speed. I just want it to turn. Let's see. Still turns a pretty good way. It doesn't turn the servo saver. But hey, it's better than that one. Let's give it a quick spin. Instantly responsive. So it was the servo problem that uh, randomly didn't make it want to go forward or backwards. So that problem has also uh, been removed from us. Oh, now I really want to get it out. Yeah. 